Hey everyone, this is Brian with Obedia, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to export your audio mix down from Personas' Studio One digital audio workstation. This is very easy to do, so let's dive right in and get started. I have a song here in Studio One, and I've uh, just compiled some of my various bits that I've been working on, and I'm ready to turn this into an audio mix down and be able to take it uh, to mastering or any other number of uh, procedures which I could use the audio for. So let's talk about how we create an audio mix down. So in order to create an audio mix down, we simply need to first click on song. And after we click on song, we can click on the option export mix down. And now we're going to get the export mix down dialog box. And this is going to ask us a number of different uh, questions essentially. First of all, it's going to ask us the location we would like to save our audio mix down to. And we can change that by clicking on the small button right here. It's going to ask us for a file name. Then it's going to ask us if we would like to upload this track to SoundCloud or not. Uh, Studio One was the first digital audio workstation to integrate with the SoundCloud online music service, and so it has the ability to upload its audio to SoundCloud. Uh, and so you can decide if you would like to send your audio to SoundCloud or not. Then you're going to choose the audio format, and here in the pull-down menu you're going to see a number of different options. And uh, you have the usual suspects, the ones we expect in an audio workstation, WAV files, uh, AIFF files, MP3. But there's a couple that are quite cool here, which is FLAC and AUG Vorbis. These are both lossless audio codecs, uh, which are really useful if you want to keep the absolute best audio quality, but still get a fairly small file size. So th those are very useful. Uh, here in the export range, this is where you're going to have a couple of different decisions to make. The first one is going to be between loop, the next is going to be between song start and end marker, between each marker, and then the option for between selected markers. So Studio One leans a lot on markers for when you are actually exporting your audio mix down, and I'll show you guys just a little bit about making use of markers in just a moment. Finally down at the bottom we have the options for our audio mix down. We can select the output that we would like to make use of. We can also select a number of different options, such as bypassing master effects and importing our mix down to a track and various things like that. After we've selected all of these options, we can simply click on OK. Now before we go ahead and do that, let me just show you the usage of markers inside of Studio One because markers are very useful in Studio One for, as you can see, setting your audio mix down settings and also, of course, uh, being able to mark certain locations inside of your song. So in order to open up the marker track, we're going to click on the small flag here in the top left-hand corner of Studio One. And now we're going to see the marker track open up just below our ruler. And if we zoom out a little bit, you're going to notice that initially I only have a start and an end marker. Now these start and end markers are your song start and end markers. Now you don't have to make use of them when you are actually mixing down your audio. You'll remember that there was the option for between loop. Now between loop is very easy to make use of because if I move my mouse up into the top of my ruler just a little bit above where I have my time base numbers, you're going to notice that I'm going to get the pencil icon and if I hold my mouse, click and drag, I can draw my loop selection. Now this loop selection can be used for designating how much of your audio you would like to create a mix down of, but if you decide that you would like to make use of the markers, you can simply make use of the song start and end markers by dragging them around and dropping them to exactly the spot where you would like for your song to end and of course where you would like for your song to start. Now you can also create new markers and then if you create new markers you have the ability to export audio from between those various markers. So if that is something that you would like to be able to do all you need to do is click on the plus sign right here. And if you click on that, you're going to create a brand new marker directly where your transport line is currently located. So right now I'm going to make a marker just around bar 26. Now I've created some new markers. So what I can do again when I decide to go back into uh, creating my audio mix down, which again I'm just going to click on song and select the option export mix down. Now this is where the export range again comes in very useful because I have the options for again between loop, between song start and end marker, between each marker, and between selected markers. So you can pull, select in the pull down menu here for which markers you would like to export uh, the audio mix down from between 
and then based on that setting you will see the duration of your song and then of course you can click on OK and create your audio mix down so markers are very useful for a number of different reasons inside of Studio One in this case they are very very useful for your audio mix down so again let's go ahead and do a quick review on that guys again markers are accessed from the marker track right here enabled by clicking on the flag in the top left hand corner creating new markers is done by setting your transport locator to the primary location you would like it to be and then simply clicking on the plus sign conversely you can also remove a marker by selecting a marker and clicking on the minus sign right here and of course your start and end markers are going to designate initially the start and the end of your song so if you do plan on making use of the use of those remember that you're going to need to view your marker track and drag your song start and end markers to the proper locations because otherwise your end marker is going to stop at the location of which you have designated to be the end of your song when you created your studio one song because we can tell studio one exactly how long we would like a song to be and your song end marker will go to that exact location so if you want to change that remember open the marker track drag the end marker to the proper location after you have selected your markers if you know that you're going to do an export uh, by making use of the markers click on song select export mix down make sure to make all of your settings with respect to location file name publishing and the format that you would like to make use of and then finally under the export range section decide what options you would like to make use of for exporting your audio mix down when you're finally done go ahead and just click on that ok button you will have an audio mix down ready to go and be sent off for mastering burning to cd or of course sending off to friends over the internet and so on and so forth so there you go guys i hope that you found that useful as always please stay in touch with me my name is brian i'm with obedia my email is brian at obedia.com and you can get me on twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor and of course on facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor give us a call find out how you can work one-on-one -on -one with a digital audio tutor just like myself and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software we'll help you to tame your technology because that's what we do best here at obedia thank you guys so much for watching and as always happy music making to you take care